guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you the things I wish I would have known about the third trimester of pregnancy. I made one of these videos for the first trimester and the second trimester and I originally was just like sort of forgot about the third trimester but I thought you know what it would be nice to kind of like look back on the third trimester and there were definitely things that I experienced that I was like darn I wish I would have known about that before it happened <laughs> and before I went into that whole experience because I think it would have been really really helpful so yeah I do hope that you find these helpful if you are pregnant um, for the first time if you are in your first or second trimester give you a little bit of an idea of what to expect with the third trimester so the first thing I wish I would have known about the third trimester is that it could be it there's a very high possibility that it could be more uncomfortable and more grueling than your first trimester. So most people find that their first trimester is the most difficult trimester, especially if they experience morning sickness, nausea, and the level of exhaustion is kind of crazy. I just found my third trimester to be like the epitome of exhaustion and the epitome of everything felt like hard work getting up felt like hard work I mean baby got so big so quickly it felt like um, and that sort of leads me to my next point which is like you could feel really huge really fast like my second trimester I felt really good like I felt you know he felt really good in terms of size like I felt really good I felt really strong and it was almost like the second I turned 30 31 weeks in my third trimester I was just like whoa, all of a sudden he's huge, all of a sudden my back hurts, all of a sudden my knees hurt, my feet and ankles hurt, like everything hurt. He felt really big and so I just wish I would have known that like that transition was going to happen pretty abruptly and was going to be so different. And yeah, definitely more difficult than my first trimester, eons harder than my second trimester and yeah that I was just gonna feel so exhausted and just so heavy and the other thing I wish I would have known about my third trimester is that everything everything's uncomfortable everything feels uncomfortable sleeping super uncomfortable it only gets progressively worse as you get bigger um, so sleeping is more uncomfortable sitting was uncomfortable just moving especially in and out of the car I found to be really really hard I don't know if it was the angle of the seat but I found myself just like kind of throwing myself into the car and then like having to like push myself out of the car funny enough also wasn't just expecting the level of discomfort I guess at that point in the game now it makes sense right because baby's getting really really big you're getting really really big but I just wasn't expecting it I didn't know I thought like yeah I thought baby was gonna get bigger but I wasn't expecting I guess the rest of me to feel so uncomfortable I also wish I would have known there was gonna come a time where nothing was going to fit anymore so I mean, I bought maternity leggings, I had maternity tops, but there came a time, especially like, I gave birth, I was 39 weeks. I wanna say from about 37 weeks onward. So for those last two weeks, I got so big and so swollen that literally like nothing fit. I had one pair of pants that fit and I had some, you know, tops were a little bit easier cause I had like a lot of flowy tank tops, but shoes, oh my goodness they like barely barely fit i wore slippers to the hospital the day i gave birth the day i went into labor i wore slippers because at that point no shoes would fit no shoes would fit no pants would fit and yeah that was just super surprising to me because i thought for sure like at least my maternity leggings were gonna like follow me to the end of pregnancy or like my sweatpants but even my sweatpants got like so tight by the end so just like a word to the wise if you don't have slippers get yourself a pair of slippers like slide on slippers really really easy to wear because wow by the end of pregnancy like if you're like me and got and get super super swollen and super big then you might have a really hard time with shoes and that leads me to my next point which is it's possible for you to swell to the point where like you will be unrecognizable even to yourself so i got so swollen so swollen and i knew that like I knew that was possible and I knew that that was like not a side effect of pregnancy but like that could be something that I experienced but I didn't realize like the point to which I could get so swollen so like a lot of like your doctor might say to you or people might say to you like oh are your hands or feet swollen and yes my hands and feet got really swollen but I wish I would have known that like other things could swell I had no idea that I was gonna hold on to and retain so much water in my calves and my shins my shins and calves and ankles were so swollen by the end of my third trimester that it was uh, my legs were unrecognizable my thighs were so swollen I dropped the first week um, postpartum I dropped 28 pounds and it was like purely just like all the fluid so 
if you're like me again and like you swell um, and you find that in your third trimester you're swelling just know that like it's possible that like you could get so so swollen and start swelling in places that like you've never never been swollen in before yes 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 oh no sorry baby needed to eat I literally have no idea you don't remember what I was saying um so all right about swelling right like you might just be so swollen and get yourself just get yourself some really big clothes um, and then my next, th the next thing that I wish I would have known about the third trimester that I didn't was that the urge to, to nest can come in many different forms. So I thought that nesting would mean that I j was just like cleaning my space like crazy or organizing his things and like feeling that compulsion to like get that done. And although, I mean, I did, I did wash all his clothes and organize them. I felt more like when I was doing that, I felt more like it was just necessary, not necessarily like... I was nesting, if that makes sense. I knew that I had to wash his clothes and that I had to organize them, but I didn't feel this compulsion to do it. Like I just felt like it was something that I had to do. However, the day before I went into labor, I completely gutted and cleaned my mom's bathroom. And that I would say was probably nesting, but it wasn't my stuff, you know? Like it was the most random thing and I, like I just saw her bathroom and was like I need to gut this and clean it and so that's what I mean by like nesting can come in all different shapes and sizes because again like I thought for sure like that nesting meant like I was going to be cleaning and organizing all my things or like want to clean my space when in actuality for me it manifested in like me completely cleaning <laughs> my mom's space so random and then the last thing I wish I would have known about the third trimester is that you know, everyone's going to tell you to relax and to like do all the things that you want to do, but I wish I would have done that even more. <laughs> so if people are telling you, if you are in your third trimester and people are telling you to relax, to sleep, to like do all those things, like go to the movies or go out to dinner, do all of those things and more. Because I'm telling you, like, when you have a baby, especially when it comes to sleep, like, if you have the urge at any point during your third trimester to take a nap, then absolutely do it. And I think I wish I would have also, I wish I would have also known that, like, if if I wanted to take a, a little bit more time off, that it would have been okay. Um, I sort of guilted myself into working a little bit later than I would have liked. I'm really glad I didn't work the extra week that I had originally wanted to because that would have put me straight up to like the week that I gave birth and I so needed that week before to like organize and clean and stuff but I wish I would have taken even more time and I know it's hard like when you're in that position because you might feel guilty or like maybe you, you can't but if you can if you can afford to like take the time off from work um, take those extra days even if it's just like an extra day I would definitely do it because this that time goes by so fast and then before you know it you have a newborn and you're not sleeping and you're not getting to do any of the things that like you took for granted before in terms of like just like getting into the car and going to your favorite restaurant or something so yeah I would definitely try to enjoy as much as possible that time that you have just to yourself and guys, those are all the things I wish I would have known about my third trimester of pregnancy. If there's anything that you can add to the list, definitely do in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you all really soon. Bye, guys.